Frank Mir versus Olofsky. Um, Frank, I gotta be honest with you. You know, you're, you're one of my favorite fighters, and I, I love you a lot as as a fan and 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 everything. But I I was voting for Olofsky this fight. I feel like he deserves a fight against Ray Doom. and um, you know what I'm saying. And I just want to see that fight so bad. So um, I just want to say that Frank Mir put on a great fight. I love the comeback return against Duffy, the KO, and I and I love the fact that you had a lot of heart in this one. You stayed it out in this one. You you did your best that you could. You know, unanimous decision. But Arlovsky did his thing. You know what I mean? He he was the pit bull he's always been. And he did his thing his first and second round. It was a great fight. I am going to watch it over and over again. We're all going to watch it over and over again, Frank Mir. We love and appreciate you in the sport. Arlovsky is a beast. Um, he just totally dominated the fight. To me, he just totally dominated the fight. He knows who he is. He knows he's the champ. He knows that he deserves that title. I want to see Fabricio Verboom, uh, Verdum, excuse me, versus um, Arlovsky because Arlovsky is a beast, guys. He's been through it all. You know, he's fought all of them. You know, he's beaten many of them. He's lost two. Don't get me wrong, but you know, when they ask about who's the best, there is no best. But if, if you're gonna talk about the greatest, or one of the greatest, you have to mention Andre Andre Arlovsky. I'm not going to re-edit this, so if I mess up, I don't care. Because this is just the truth. This is the way I feel. I feel like he's a true champ. He beat Word Doom already. I, I, he needs to have that title. Um, he put on a good fight tonight. And um, we want to see him fight for Bruccio. That's what I want to see. Hopefully, you guys want to see. Let me know in the comments below what you think of his performance against Frank Mir did. Frank Mir was on a comeback. He's, he's a better fighter than he's ever been. He's great at striking, great at grappling. He's at his best of his best right now. That's all I got to say. It wasn't an easy fight for Andre Arlovsky. Uh, uh, but he dominated, but it wasn't easy. Trust me. It wasn't easy at all. UFC 191 is amazing. Dana White knows how to put up a great card. And giving Frank Mir an opportunity to redeem himself like he's done is honestly deserves a standing ovation for Dana White being such a good promoter, such a good, you know, putting fights together so well. This was a very, very good fight. This was a very, very good fight. Honestly, to me, I got a chance to to see how great Frank Mir really is and how Arlovsky is definitely a champion. So I'm looking forward to that fight. Um, do you feel Arlovsky could have done better? Let me know. What else do you guys feel Arlovsky needs to do to improve? And where does he stand in history? Andre Arlovsky, where does he stand in history in UFC? I would like for you guys to answer these questions. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Till next time, it's UFC with Melvin, And I'm out.